Hello, dear friends. The BRICS summit in South Africa could be a tectonic shift in world order. Opinion piece. BRICS earthquake. World event. Historic summit. BRICS versus G7. Meet in South Africa. Common payment system. Trade de dollarization. Change in world order. A common currency is delayed. A disunited family that wants to unite. Use of local currencies for trade. 40 countries want to join the club. The group represents 42% of the world population. Let's start. The BRICS group of emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, began its 15th summit of chiefs on Tuesday, August 22nd in Johannesburg of a state and government with an economic forum attended by the leaders of the bloc. Within the broad agenda of the meeting, the issue of de-dollarization and the prospects for the creation of a new common currency of its own standout, an initiative that Brazil enthusiastically defends, but China doesn't want to harm its exports to the West. Members of the BRICS economic group representing the world's major emerging economies are meeting in South Africa for a summit that could determine the bloc's future and how strongly it would react against the world order it sees as dominated by the West. This group has never been very important on the world stage until now, because the BRICS countries themselves have had complicated relationships that they are now trying to solve. The dollar has, grain, has gained ground against emerging market currencies since the Fed began raising interest rates to combat inflation in early 2022, and a move that made dollar debt more expensive for those countries. The bloc has a tendency to become more geopolitical as it tries to rebalance global power, especially as China and Russia seek to side with rising tensions with the West which could facilitate its expansion. The more active the BRICS become, the more power other countries could lose because the world cake is like parrot chocolate. If the BRICS decide to expand and then intensify their gold role, this could spark further change that impacts the West's international influence, but an expansion has its risks because instead of making the group more powerful, it could also make it more difficult for the BRICS to expand. To manage um, more ineffective with more confrontational positions between the members. Agenda. The latest economic forum began on Tuesday at 14 GMT at the Santum Convention. Center, the financial district of the South Africa city heavily guarded by the police, with a large deployment of agents in the area. The event is attended by the President of Brazil, China and South Africa, as well as the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Vladimir Putin is expected to speak via video conference due to his arrest warrant. Today, Wednesday, the leaders meet in a plenary session in which they are expected to discuss issues such as expansion of the BRICS. Some 40 countries have expressed interest in joining that club, according to the South African government. The group is also expected to address the dedollarization of its economy, that is, the use of local currencies to trade at the expense of the dollar, a position supported by the New Development Bank established by the BRICS in 2015. Geopolitical issues and economic cooperation are addressed at the summit. Among the central issues are a possible expansion of the BRICS, the strengthening of local currencies within the bloc, and possibly the development of a common payment system closely, 
closely related to the issue of de-dollarization. Participants A large presence of African leaders is expected in honor of the motto of the summit. In quotes, BRICS and Africa, partnership for mutually accelerated growth, sustainable development and inclusive multilateralism. At the closing of the summit on Thursday, the BRICS Friends Leaders Dialogue will take place, in which the bloc's leaders will exchange ideas with their counterparts from other countries. South Africa has invited 67 leaders from the Global South to the event, including Argentina, Venezuela, Bolivia, Cuba, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Iran, Egypt and Indonesia. To 20 dignitaries from international organizations are also invited, such as the UN Secretary General and the Chairman of the African Union Commission. Brazil, Russia, India and China created the BRIC group in 2006 without the S, which South Africa joined in 2010 by adding the letter S. The bloc represents more than 42% of the world population and 30% of the planet's territory, as well as 23% of the gross domestic, domestic revenue and 18% of world trade. The group grew out of a term coined by a former Goldman Sachs economist, Jim O'Neill, to describe investment opportunities in emerging markets and has persisted despite deep differences in political and economic systems among its members. Expansion. Not the happiest of families, but even so, that family is considering formal offers from nearly two dozen countries to join its rock of major emerging economies. Discussions about bringing in new members are expected to feature high on the agenda of the three-day summit, where BRICS leaders meet in person for the first time since the health crisis. As far as possible expansion is consent, consented, Iran, Argentina and Algeria have officially applied to join the bloc, and some 20 other countries have announced their plans to join. Among those who submitted formal requests are Argentina, Mexico, Tunisia, Venezuela, Iran, Indonesia, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, Egypt, Nigeria and Bangladesh. Two members of the Commonwealth of Independent States, Belarus and Kazakhstan, have also expressed their intention to join the association. When it comes to the expansion of the BRICS, each of the countries has their own reasons to be cautious about what, who to let in and who not, as the question was raised during the last South African presidency in 2018, and then the countries de decided to explore it further after the habitual meeting last year at the China-hosted summit. The issue of expansion could be the association's first stress test in its almost decade and a half of existence. According to Basho Thinthi, an associate professor of politics and international relations at the University of Johannesburg, an expansion would be only the second in the history of the group, which focuses on economic development and increasing the voice of its members in world forums challenge. The bloc pursues the, the goal of forming a new world order that is multipolar and fairer. Anil Soklal, South Africa's ambassador of the group, stated in early August that the BRICS summit would make a tectonic shift in the world order and would be the largest meeting of countries of the South in recent times to discuss global challenges, said he said. In addition, some experts see the group as an organization that could challenge Western-dominated global governance structures, in particular the G7. In this sense, the South African ambassador to the BRICS stressed that the bloc doesn't consider itself as a counterweight to any other organization, although he admitted that it is possible expansion collides with the opposition of nations in a privileged position. 
Breaking news. Dollarization is not an option for Bolivia, affirms the Minister of Economy. Mexico fights against trans fats in food. The African Union expels Niger after the coup. Turkey, Turkey doesn't want to intervene militarily in Niger. China. China's economic storm accelerates its decoupling from the West. Ban British officials from referring to China and Russia as hostile states. The language change would be part of an effort to improve diplomatic relations between London and Beijing, the Times reported. The release of radioactive water from Fukushima to the Pacific is scheduled for August 24th. China summons the Japanese ambassador to protest against the dumping of the radioactive water. The US restricts visas for senior Chinese officials due to assimilation internships in Tibet. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.